Catherine spills cheeky fight between George and Louis as grumpy George beaten by little brother. Just because she's royal doesn't mean Kate Middleton is free of parental annoyances, including sibling rivalries. The new Princess of Wales admitted the at-home project has brought out a bitterness between George and Louis, who apparently inherited his mom's green thumb. She's revealed there's already a bit of healthy competition between her two children. During one of her visits to East Anglia's Children's Hospice in Norfolk, England, the then Duchess helped plant a garden. On this occasion, she revealed that her family has also been having fun planting their own plants in the palace. However, during this time, her children, Prince George and Prince Louis, seem to have gotten each other's bad side. As Kate helped to create a new garden at the Nook, the mom of three revealed that six-year-old Prince George is grumpy over losing a sunflower competition to his younger brother, Prince Louis. The children are really enjoying growing their sunflowers, she shared. Louis winning, so George is a little grumpy about that. Prince George appears to have inherited Prince William and Kate's renowned competitive streak, with the pair teasing one another in public during head-to-head -head activities, such as last year's sailing race off the Isle of Wight. The Duke poked fun at his wife as she was handed a giant wooden spoon when her team placed last in the King Cup's regatta. William and Kate have revealed several anecdotes about how they've been keeping their young family in lockdown when they're not studying. William shared, I've done a little bit of baking, the children have been attacking the kitchen, and it's just been an explosion of flour and chocolate everywhere. Catherine's been doing quite a bit of baking as well. The royal couple don't make comments about their children often, but as the couple is quarantined with their kids, Kate has opened up in interviews about what the experience has been like. The children have got so much stamina. I don't know how, honestly. You get to the end of the day and you write a list of all the things you've done in that day. You've pitched a tent, take the tent down again, cook, bake, you get the end of the day, they've had a lovely time. It's amazing how much you can cram into one day, that's for sure. It's not only between Prince George and Prince Louis, Princess William also revealed that Prince George and Princess Charlotte have some trouble when it comes to their morning routine, and they used to argue daily. Most mornings, there's a massive fight between Charlotte and George as to what song is played in the morning. Charlotte particularly is running around the kitchen in her dresses and ballet stuff and everything. She goes completely crazy with Louis, following her around trying to do the same thing. It's a really happy moment where the children just enjoy dancing, messing around, and singing. As for the royal duties, Prince George is Prince William's eldest child and of course is heir to the British throne. While Kate and William strive to give George the same upbringing as his siblings Prince, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, as he grows up he will become more aware of the future ahead of him. The care Prince William and Kate took over revealing Prince George's future role to him reflects the psychological weight of that knowledge. As Prince George becomes an adult, there will be more expectations placed on him and he will be less free to behave as he wishes, unlike Prince Louis and Charlotte. According to a royal insider, George is very protective of his younger siblings and goes out of his way to help his mother with the household chores, especially when it earns him extra time on electronics. The little monarch is also very much like his father in his interests. Prince George is also looking forward to his future responsibilities of being king, according to the source. Quote, he sees it as a huge honor and frequently asks his dad to loan him books about history. He loves listening to stories about his ancestors and the history of the Commonwealth, not just England.